Sicilian defense, open, classical, fianchetto variation. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. The end game was sloppy, but white got the better of it. The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. The central d4 square is governed by c5. The e4 square occupies space in the center, controls the d5 and f5 squares, and promotes the development of the queen and light squared bishop. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the e4 pawn and controls the d5 square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g2, where it will take up residence on the long diagonal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. It is good. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. It is the final book action. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Recaptures. That's good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. It's alright. That's good. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. This ignores an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes a pawn attack. It is ideal. This misses a chance to trample a knight. It is incorrect. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to fork pieces. It is good. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. This strikes a rival knight. It is quite good. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. It is best. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. 
This is a missed chance to use a pawn to attack the center. It is incorrect. That falls flat. A wise decision. It is quite good. Although the score was nearly equal, black now holds the upper hand. It is incorrect. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is ideal. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is quite good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is a mistake. The pawn is now suitably protected. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This wastes a chance to gain a pawn. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. This enables the adversary to capture a pawn and gain territory. It is a mistake. This is a missed chance to seize a helpless pawn. That falls flat. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to win back a piece. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. From a prior move, recaptures. It is ideal. As a result, the adversary can pin a knight. It is incorrect. This defends a vulnerable rook by pinning one of its attackers. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is a poor attempt at defending a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. This is a poor choice for rook safety movement. That falls flat. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Black is losing because the end game has begun. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. This allows the opponent to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is a mistake. This misses a better way to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. This permits the opponent to use a rook to support a passed pawn. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to use a rook to support a passed pawn. It is a miss. This let the adversary to support a passed pawn with a rook. It is incorrect. A passed pawn can attempt to advance while being defended by a rook placed behind it. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing rook, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. This pushes a passed pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. 
It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This promotes a pawn to a queen. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. The end game was sloppy, but white got the better of it. 